I spent a lot, a lot on camera gears. It's not like just one camera that costs 40k, but it's all the gadgets, all that, you know, some local memory card, cut readers, or and. Jiang Lun, get sing. Hello, I'm Romeo Tan, and today I'll be answering a series of assumptions about me. What can I think of right now that can always be for you? Definitely my name will be involved. I mean, they might be asking whether is this name a real name or a stage name or something like this. There? With a name like Romeo, he must have been teased a lot in school. Abu Dan. <laughs> yes, a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, it's quite traumatised to begin with because uh, I was fat when I was young, uh, especially in the primary and secondary school. So uh, with a name like Romeo and you look like pig, so uh, I got teased a lot and also make fun, it doesn't really feel so good. To a certain extent that I even decided to change my name but uh, this idea was somehow dropped off. I have an elder brother and a younger brother, we are all named Ro, start with R. So my brother is Robin, my younger brother is Rowell and I'm Romeo, the unfortunate one. Romeo was the one who named his fan club the Gillette Club. Uh, not true also, but it was named after my secondary clique. Uh, during my Star Search Days competition, they are the only six people that come to my con like competition as my die-hard fan. The very first batch of fan that I have. La. So they decided that uh, the fan club name shall name as Juliet Club because it indirectly linked to Romeo. So like Romeo and Juliet, so it makes some sense that uh, it's quite fun la, to have a fan club called the Juliet Club. Okay, Romeo Tan joined Star Search in 2010 because he didn't know what to do with his life then. Uh, yes, quite half true. I need to find a full time job to keep me alive. And getting into the acting industry is always my dream, my childhood dream. I joined Star Search also to give myself a, a last chance to be in this industry. Romeo Tan is open to dating a fellow star celebrity. Well, um, I'm open to that, but I still prefer someone outside. Uh, so, you know, talk about work at work and talk about work at home can be quite boring. So maybe someone outside will be quite fun. Aunties are now joining the Juliet Club after watching him in How Are You? Mm, maybe, but I guess uh, all the cute aunties, they are forming their own Juliet Club in the hawker centre and wet market. <laughs> Romeo still regularly speak to his parent in Hokkien so that he doesn't lose the ability to speak the dialect. Uh, he's true to a certain extent, especially after How Are You? But I still cannot have a full conversation in Hokkien. I will just use certain object, put an arrow, and then I will just draw maybe a, a, an object on top. So my script is full of <laughs> writings, uh, full of honey pings and drawing, and it's the most homework that I've ever done in this 10 years acting industry. Yeah, so suddenly I understand how Pierre <laughs> felt like when he's reading all his Chinese Mandarin script. <laughs> Romeo would prefer to spend a day in with Tigo than to have a night out with his friends. I miss my dog a lot, especially when I'm out for work. Usually it's one whole day. And example, if I say I spend 10 hours at work, Tigo will be at home waiting 10 hours just for my return. So I felt that if I have a day off, I have more time, I will actually spend more time with my fur kid. Getting a bachelor pet means that Romeo Tan isn't looking to settle down anytime soon. Oh, you're very creative. I still can settle down, right? just that I don't have a kid. <laughs> Two person can save. <laughs> oh, so wrong, can save more money. <laughs> oh, well, but uh, it's not exactly true. I just like the place, that's all. Being known as one of the eight dudes, it was more of a bane than a boon. So, which is good, which is bad? I would say it's more of a boon. It's still very good in general. After all, uh, we have more awareness and more people know about all eight of us. And during that period, we do have more like commercial engagement which is quite uh, good. So uh, I think overall it's still good, la. more good than bad. 
Okay, Romilton is such a spendthrift that he spends a lot on camera gears and branded clothes. I don't spend on branded clothes. I spend a lot, a lot on camera gears and actually, uh, I spend too much. Mm. <laughs> so if my mum know how much I spend there, I think she will kill me. I think all in all add up at least 40. 40. Oh, with those that you know I bought and I decided to give away and I get a new one, you know, all in all, it's not like just one camera that costs 40k, but it's... Oh, the gadgets, oh, I don't know, some local memory card, good cut readers or um, tripod can cost a lot also. The lens, oh my god, lens is so expensive. If a good lens can easily see that five digit number, so... Uh, I consider this as a hobby, but it's a very, very expensive hobby. Uh, yeah. Jiang Le Kek Sing. Okay. Hey, no more. Yeah. Alright, thank you for watching Assumption About Me. If you like this, do subscribe and follow. And if you like me, you can also follow. No need to subscribe, but just follow me. Bye bye.